Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flare Mouse in an effort to promote diversity on YouTube. Today we're going to be working with 22 long rifle ammo. This is called the Phillips 22 mod. It's very simple using just standard hollow point ammunition. The only tool we'll need is just a number zero Phillips screwdriver with a nice sharp tip. We'll just press the tip of the screwdriver into the soft lead hollow point of the bullet and that creates this X pattern. Since we're using the hollow points, it automatically centers the tip of the screwdriver, keeping everything balanced and very uniform. So will this modification affect the way they feed, will it affect the accuracy, and will it actually alter the way they expand? Welcome back to Outflater, folks. Jeff and the OG out here with you on a disturbingly warm February day, Central California. Hey, today we are going to bring you something a little bit different. Today we have Jeff's Phillips mod. It's a modified 22 round. I don't know if you can see that in there, but uh, Phillips head screwdriver tapped into the uh, into the nose of a hollow point 22 long rifle round, just to score it a little bit. Kind of makes our own little uh, extreme defender in a way. And we're going to see if this round doesn't happen to uh, make the round explode more, break apart more. We don't know a whole lot. We used to do this as kids. We used to play around with modifying 22 rounds and drilling out the tips and cutting off the tips and all kinds of things. So we're going to send them downrange through Jeff's STG-44. This is a uh, replica of the World War II STG-44. However, this one is in 22 long rifles. So we got this big old giant magazine to hold a few, ten, uh, a few little uh, 22 rounds. Okay. Um, yeah, everyone's been bugging us to shoot the clay and I keep forgetting to. It's, it's a it's a, it's, an, it's a mess to deal with. It's very, very sticky It sticks inside. all over your hands and gets all over your clothes and stuff. So It's kind of odd that when you pulled that out of the bag, it had that face already. What have you been doing um, to make that clay happy? I don't. <laughs> okay. When you're ready. Oh, I got to arm it. That's a good idea to arm it. Okay, I'm ready when you are. There you go. Oh. Look at that, just went right through his head. You can see right through out the back of his little clay skull. Official USMC oh, of course. fighting knife here. We give our uh, fighting men and women nothing but the best. Yes. But yeah, it leaves a nice permanent cavity. That was like a, this is really soft clay. I, I refreshed it. Don't ask me how I do that. But. You just click the little refresh button at the top. Yes. But uh, yeah, that's that is a big giant hole for one tiny little round. Yeah. Okay, water jug. Let's see if it does anything devastating to it. <laughs> okay, I'm ready when you are. Okay, now we're gonna do some trick shooting. He's gonna try to hit a lemon. It's a tough shot. There you go. Massive held, uh, damage. I held about six inches over. Wow. Okay, uh, new style of body armor by Matt V2099. He's, he lives, and he's still, uh, you know, he has like a five thousand dollar consultation fee, but yeah, I think it's worth it, man. I think that was good that you paid that fee to get this casserole sent to you. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> Thanks, Patreon. Your Patreon dollars at work. <laughs> no, we're joking. Okay, take a few shots. See if it'll protect the, uh, if it'll break the glass or not. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. You want them fast? Yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah, I see some shattering going on. Yeah, why is it still standing, though? So there's uh, Matt V's casserole. Thanks, Matt. <laughs> Broke the dish, just shattered the dish as these rounds went through. You can see the rounds, one, two, and three. Wow, that's a good grouping. And then they zap right on through. So if the burglars are coming into your house carrying this, uh, this lovely dish, <laughs> probably your 22 will work. Actually, if a burglar's coming in your house carrying a dish, it's probably your mother-in-law. <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> If you come around this okay, side. Okay, I'm coming around, I'm coming around. Oh, let's move that brick. Oh. Blasted all the glass out right oh, there. Oh, man. My wife's gonna be mad I messed up her. Yeah, it's gonna take one. some super glue to fix this one up. Yeah, like but the Brady Bunch. <laughs> you can also see, however, right here, a perfectly mushroomed little uh, 22 round. Yeah, it little... probably would have done the same if it was unmodified though. That's, I don't see anything unusual about that. A little blob of lead. At least we found one. I don't know if you can see it right here, but through the goo, but that is the uh, base of the round. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, that's messy stuff there. Very it is. Sticks to everything. It's like a, it's like one of those rat sticky traps. I think you take this home, put it in the oven. Mrs. Tough, later mouse, open up the oven. You, what'd you do? I'll blame her, you know. <laughs> it's like, hey, I, 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 some, it was the kids. Here we go, five rounds at least. <laughs> Okay, how's your grouping? Well, they look like they hit pretty close. I mean, they're all in a, about the size of a quarter right there. So... Oh, did you get like 10 shots off? Well, eh, yeah, maybe it's 10 or so. <laughs> but they all group pretty tight, you can see right there. So we're gonna do some tough later surgery here. Let's see what we can find in there. He's awfully sticky, this guy. Yeah, it, it, the heat from those bullets, the friction. We're gonna see if these, uh, these things. You're going to regret using that knife. Probably so. We're going to see if they, the little mushroom tipped or anything like that. Kids, Google mushroom tip and see what you come up with as far as. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> we I send don't know. people to the wrong. I don't see these things in here. Well, they, oh, they, where we go. We did, they did not go through. They're way towards the back, though. Oh, okay. So we're going to go in. We're going to go in from the back. Because there is our chunk of lead. Look at that. Oh, wow. A whole bunch of them. Ready and waiting for us here on the back. Turn away, kids. This is going to get graphic. Well, that is some sticky, sticky stuff. Yeah. Look, oh, at, look those. at that. Look at that. They're all in a big cluster. They're all in little clumps, but yeah. They clustered together, so that was good. But did they magically mushroom? Well, they are mangled. There's one that, let me see this one. It's kind of a square mushrooming. Yeah, now see this one just flattened out into a big old glob. Regardless, what you're looking for is a bigger diameter once it hits its target. Yeah. And these, every single one of them, even if they're not getting a perfect uh, flower mushroom, they are definitely bigger than when they left the bore of the rifle. So they're essentially doing their job by, um, by you scoring the tips of those 
They I don't are. know if it's much better than a regular hollow point. Oh, it might not be, but... but they're accurate. I mean, they're accurate. It's, we didn't it's screw up that. quite a bit bigger. You, you can see it's almost double the diameter of a uh, standard 22 round, so... Or as the British say, the 2-2. Two -two. The 2-2. Two -two. That's what they as call the it. As the British say, we wish we could have those. <laughs> oh, you're going to upset the... <laughs> Cheerio, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Some people can, but you have to jump through hoops. Well, we prefer hoopless jumping over here. And uh, just about everybody can have a 22 over here. I had my first one when I was six years old. Wow. Tough later, folks. So. I think I was 24. <laughs> <laughs> I had a... Uh, Marlin Lever Action 22, my dad bought me. Well, yeah, my parents weren't cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, my parents weren't cool either, but they still bought me a rifle, so. Yeah, that's. I guess so. Uh, okay. You know, they smack you in the head and give you a rifle. It kind of bounces each other out. Yeah. There's another one that's still, still buried in there. Oh, that one really That's a up. big mass of lead right there. Look at that. Yeah. Okay, let me. I don't want to cut your fingers off. Oh. There's a lot of little, uh, I don't know if you can see down in there, there's also a lot of little lead fragments in there. So yeah. That would be a gnarly. Some of them kind of might have collid coll collided? Collided? Collided. <laughs> collided. I think they say collided in uh, in the UK. Yeah. Where everything's so. in aluminum and millimeters. Yeah, aluminum and millimeters. So this would make a nasty wound if that was an actual human. Oh yeah. So if you've got to use 22 rounds for self-defense for some reason, that's the only rif only rifle or pistol you have. Little hollow point rounds or scored tip rounds like that would be uh, preferable. It's important to note that it didn't cause the gun to malfunction or anything like that. You know, it's a, no. it's a minor mod modification right. that they're doesn't still, affect the tip or anything. Yeah, they're still uh, they're still the same profile and they still hit the feed ramp the same way. Yeah. Well, we hope you enjoyed watching this video. Always appreciate when you guys rate the video. Always appreciate your comments, ideas, suggestions. And as always, we highly appreciate our Patreon supporters. Without you guys, probably quit and sell all of our equipment. Thanks for watching.